It's my great honor to make this address as a representative of partner country. I met Honorable Chief Minister last July when His Excellency visited Japan. I was so moved with his strong vision, strategy, and passion towards the development of the state of Gujarat. Since then, I have been looking forward to join in this summit here in Gujarat. As you all may know, we have now new Prime Minister Abe, who is a good acquaintance of Honorable Chief Minister. I know that not only Chief Minister, but also many Indian people have strong anticipation for new Japanese administration. Prime Minister Abe has already declared his intention expeditiously to revitalize Japanese economy. Market has shown its strong interest on his vision. Now it's called as Abenomics. Since then, Japanese yen is cheaper by 10% and the stock price went up by 10%. Having established headquarters for Japan's economic revitalization, he intends to implement a bold financial policy and agile fiscal policy, and has decided to formulate a growth strategy to tackle the deflation which has troubled the Japanese economy for years. Now will be a good turning point for Japanese economy. Prime Minister Abe is well known for his strong vision to consolidate India-Japan relationship. Seven years ago, Prime Minister Abe, at his last administration, decided to launch the development of the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor and also to enter into FTA negotiation. Japan-India relationship would definitely move forward to the second stage. The trends of global economy have been changed a lot for these seven years. A survey shows that investment into India from Japan increased by three times. India has been the most promising investment destination of Japanese manufacturing industry for years. Poor business environment, such as insufficient supply of electricity and water, procedures of permission and license, and so on, has been a weak point of India in terms of foreign direct investment. So many Japanese companies, including SMEs, had investigated India so far, but unfortunately, some had given up. Now, Gujarat state turns out to be a good destination for Japanese companies. Gujarat state has improved business environment under strong leadership by Honorable Chief Minister. Gujarat state also has strong global business networks. Today, I am visiting here with the investment mission consists of more than 100 participants. I would like to highlight that the mission has 19 companies devastated by the great East Japan earthquake in 2011. Some even lost their houses and factories by tsunami. But they have splendid manufacturing technology of medical devices, precision, mechanis pre precision machineries, automobile parts, information technology, food processing, and so on. They are seeking business opportunities in India, especially in Gujarat, to revitalize their business. Today, they are looking for Indian business partners. I truly hope this vibrant Gujarat will be a good chance for the mission to make business matching. In the growth strategy of Abe administration, internationalization assisting Japanese companies to expand overseas business is one pillar. India is now the most important emerging market for Japanese companies. We'd like to strengthen policy measures to enhance investment from Japan in collaboration with government of India. First, we strengthen cooperation in infrastructure. Japan is working on materializing of the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor 
project with 4.5 billion US dollar. Currently, seven projects are proposed here in Gujarat, including electricity, water, and railway. These projects offer opportunities Indian businesses to work together with Japanese companies. Further, we promote business matching in manufacturing and energy industry. In particular, we will hold an event to introduce Japanese parts and material manufacturers to final assemblers in India so that more Japanese SMEs can identify business opportunities in India. At the same time, towards the revitalization of the Japanese economy, it is also important that Indian companies invest in Japan. Japan has manufacturing technology which is vital for India's further development and solution for challenges such as urbanization and environmental issues associated with rapid growth. On one hand, Japanese, Japanese companies invest in India for access to its market and human resources. On the other hand, Indian companies invest in Japan for its technology and human resources, Te technology for uh, its technology. Acceleration of such investment promotion between Japanese and Indian companies is crucial to strengthen the strategic economic relationship between India and Japan. Such a direction holds enormous potentialities, especially with Gujarat state, since the state is proactively inviting foreign investment and willingly building global business networks. I'm looking forward that further exciting business opportunities will be created by the strong initiative by Honorable Chief Minister. When Honorable Chief Minister visited Japan last July, we had decided to hold a policy dialogue for industrial development between government of Gujarat and our ministry. I would like to leverage this dialogue to realize my vision that Gujarat state will be an innovation place for the encounter of the development of Japan and India. Thank you very much for your attention.